out here? How did they get here? The Pecan Hill Trust, a volunteer from the Pecan Hill Trust will bring them out and or they can walk out. Or sometimes they'll hire one of us to drive them out. Now the nine people who own their shacks have a key to the gate and they're allowed to drive out here. Now there's lots and lots of bayberries out here. I'm seeing a lot of the berries starting to pop out. This shack Oh yeah. This is privately owned right now. The Bratton Shack or Schuster Shack. Lawrence Schuster lives in this. When he passes away, it will get passed down um, or turned over to the government. Now this is the Thalassa Shack. The government owns this. Pecan Hill Trust leases it. Uh, this bucket with the on the metal post. All of the shacks have these. Any idea what these are for? Just take a guess. A good guess. A lot of guess that. No, it's water. The wells. All of the shacks have uh, hand pump wells. So as I said, the fresh water rises to the top of the salt water, which is how these uh, people and animals are able to access fresh water. Um, so when they're staying out here, the animals have fresh water to drink and the people also have fresh water. Hazel Hawthorne originally owned that Thalassa shack. And I like to show a before and after picture of Hazel. She lived out here for 50 summers. She walked back and forth to town. It took her an hour and a half one way. And she lived to be 98 years old. Here's the Thalassa Shack. Thalassa means goddess of the ocean. Oh, beautiful. You can put your name in the lottery for the chance to stay in that one. And that one's right on the water, right over the dune is the water. Look what? That yes, and that's because that's protected from the salt spray of the ocean. And you'll see that as we go. Um, things on this side, not so protected, so not so green and lush. They're getting hit directly by the salt spray. Um, kind of like wind burn almost. As we come around here, this is one of the life saving stations that was built out here. The first one was built up on a high dune, and I'll show you the site of that. It was built up on a high dune, and because of erosion, it slid right down the dune mm. and floated away out to sea. It wasn't being used at the time. This one was decommissioned in 1950, and it burned down in 1958. But when that first one blew, uh, floated away, they pushed this one back so it wouldn't uh, float away as well. The first one, after it was decommissioned, they turned it into a shack, and Eugene O'Neill's father bought it for him as a wedding gift. So Eugene O'Neill lived out here for at least six summers while he did some of his work. 